Hello everyone, and welcome to Storytime with Wings Over the Rockies. My name is Carissa, and today we are going to be reading CC Love Science by Kimberly Deertine and Shelley R. Johannes, with illustrations by Vashti Harrison. Alright, so CC loves science. Ooh, looks like there might be a puppy involved. Let's find out. Ooh, Cece loved to ask questions. Her mother said her first word was why. Her father said it was how. But her favorite question was what if. You would make a great scientist, Cece, said her teacher, Miss Curie, because science is all about questions. Do fish ever get thirsty? Cece wanted to know. They do, said Miss Curie. Do hummingbirds really hum? The sound comes from their wings, said Miss Curie. What if we all jumped at the same time? Would the earth move? Good question, said Miss Curie. I think we should investigate. Miss Curie told Cece and her friends about famous scientists from history, such as Carolyn Herschel, Thomas Edison, George Washington Carver, and Jane Goodall. She also introduced them to many different sciences. Geology is the study of Earth. Biology is the study of living things. And entomology is the study of insects. One day, Miss Curie told everyone to pair up. For our next project, I'd like you to pick a science you are curious about and come up with a question to investigate, she said. Cece and her best friend Isaac were a team. They both loved zoology, which is the study of animals. Now they just needed to think of an interesting question. First, they brainstormed, so they thought about a bunch of ideas. Science is all about possibilities. Is a bear ticklish? Cece asked. Do we really want to find out? said Isaac. Hmm. Do pigs know they are smelly? Cece asked. Only a pig can answer that, Isaac said. Keep thinking, said Miss Curie. A scientist thinks outside the box and never ever gives up. Ooh, I wonder what Cece and Isaac are going to come up with. Ooh. That night at dinner, Cece was explaining the project to her parents when her dog, Einstein, jumped up and started eating the food right off her plate. Einstein, down, said Cece's mother. Cece giggled. Her plate was licked clean, except for the broccoli. Look what Einstein did, she said. I guess neither of you likes your vegetables, her dad said laughing. This observation gave Cece a great idea. Einstein could be their science project. Cece called Isaac. I've got it. Let's find out if dogs eat vegetables. Cool, said Isaac. Cece couldn't wait to get started. Hmm, I know I like vegetables. Do any of you guys out there like eating your vegetables? My favorites are carrots and broccoli. Ooh, the next day after school, Cece and Isaac headed straight to Cece's lab to work on their project. Ooh, it looks like they started filling out a worksheet. Let's see what they said. Ooh, they put their names on it, so Cece and Isaac. Ooh, the science they chose is zoology, which is the study of animals. They wrote down some of their brainstorming ideas. Do you guys remember their brainstorming ideas? Hmm, let's find out. Is the bear ticklish? Do pigs think they stink? And do fish sleep? They didn't think any of those are really good ideas. Let's see what their real question is. Ooh, do dogs eat vegetables? Ooh, their test subject, dogs. 
related to the wolf or coyote from the Canis family. Ooh, list some fun facts about your subject. Einstein, named after Albert Einstein. Ooh, her puppy weighs 40 pounds. Her puppy is gray, and her puppy has brown eyes. It's super important to write down all your information when you're being a scientist. Let's see what they do next. Ooh, what do we do first, asked Isaac. Let's observe our subject, Cece said. Observation doggy treats. Guarantee 100% participation, said Cece. Excellent data, said Isaac. Isaac and Cece watched Einstein sleep. They watched Einstein drink. They even watched Einstein sleep. Sometimes science is all about waiting and waiting and waiting for something really cool to happen. I don't know if you guys see, but they're both wearing their super science lab coats. Scientists wear lab coats to help make sure they stay clean and safe when they do experiments. Ooh, looks like they're done observing. Let's find out what they found. From our observations, we know Einstein loves to eat kibble and doggy treats, said Cece. Now we need to investigate our question, said Isaac. Do dogs eat vegetables? I already know Einstein doesn't like broccoli, said Cece. I don't either. Let's test some different veggies, said Isaac. It's experiment time, said Cece. Finally! Ooh, it looks like they have another really cool worksheet down here. Let's find out what it says. Ooh, what are your observations? So what did they see Einstein doing? He eats, drinks, and sleeps. He loves to eat kibble. He doesn't like broccoli. He jumps on the table. And doggy treats guarantee 100% participation. Ooh, now they need to figure out what their experiment is. So they know he doesn't like broccoli, so it looks like they're gonna try to give him carrots, beans, and cucumbers. Do any of you guys like carrots, beans, or cucumbers? I like carrots and cucumbers, but I don't really like beans. Let's find out if Einstein does. Cece and Isaac tried carrots, beans, and cucumbers. Einstein turned his nose up at each one! Yes, he doesn't like any of them. Hmm, what if we disguise the vegetables with bacon and ketchup? Isaac asked. This time, Isaac was interested. He ate the bacon and licked the ketchup off the vegetables. That means he likes bacon and ketchup, said Cece. What if we just mix the vegetables with his kibble? asked Isaac. I bet he won't even know the difference, said Cece. Einstein ate all his kibble, but left the vegetables in the bottom of his bowl. Einstein might not eat vegetables, but he sure is smart, said Cece. Hmm, they're go doing a good job. They're testing a lot of different things and observing. So they're watching what he does. Cece gave Einstein a treat and rubbed his ears. Good boy, she said. She looked at Isaac and shrugged. Now what? We're supposed to interpret our data, said Isaac. That means they need to figure out what they found out. Einstein definitely loves to eat, said Cece. He sure doesn't like broccoli, said Isaac. He doesn't like any vegetables, said Cece. Not even if we cover them in bacon and ketchup, said Isaac. I guess Einstein is a picky eater, said Cece. Ooh, let's see what they're writing down. Interpret your data. So they need to figure out what's going on. So Einstein eats bacon and ketchup and kibble. He ignores hidden vegetables. So they think that means Einstein is a picky eater. And that the result is that he just doesn't like veggies, including carrots, beans, and cucumbers. Let's see what they do next. 
That night, Cece was so disappointed, she didn't even finish her dessert. Maybe I'm not a real scientist after all, she said. Our project was boring. I thought you asked a great question, her dad said. Einstein put his paws on the table and sniffed Cece's banana split. Einstein, Cece giggled. Naughty puppy. Her mother laughed and pulled Einstein away. He may not eat veggies, she said, but he sure likes bananas. That's when Cece remembered something Miss Curie always said. Scientists think outside the box. What if we create a secret recipe using bananas, she asked. Ooh, sounds like Cece has an idea. Cece and Isaac rushed home after school and mixed together carrots, beans, cucumbers, and bananas in a blender. Are those still veggies? asked Isaac. Yep, said Cece. They're just in a different form. Gross, Isaac said, wrinkling his nose. Ooh, and look, Cece and Isaac both have goggles on to protect their eyes. It's important to be safe when you're being a scientist. Cece poured the mixture into Einstein's bowl. How about a special smoothie, she asked, patting his head. At first, Einstein looked confused. He circled the bowl, he sniffed the bowl, then he got down in his belly and wagged his tail. And then he slurped down the entire thing. Look, he loves it, said Isaac. In science, not all results are totally predictable. Einstein does eat vegetables when we mix them with bananas, said Cece. Oh, look at how happy Einstein is. Looks like he had a great smoothie. And that's when Cece made the most extraordinary observation of all. Science isn't just about questions. Real scientists have fun finding answers too. Oh, and there's the full worksheet. That's everything that we just read through. Ooh, but look, they have a different result. They crossed out that he doesn't like vegetables and put down that Einstein does eat vegetables when we mix them with bananas. Oh, and that's the end. I'm gonna leave this page up for just a few minutes. So that way, if you want to at home, you and your parents can read some different definitions. So what some words mean. You can also read about really cool people like Caroline Herschel, who we learned about a little bit in the story. She was an astronomer who discovered eight comets. That's pretty cool. And that's the end. There's Cece and her teacher and classmates super happy. All right, everyone. It's time to say goodbye to Cece. And that was another story time with Wings Over the Rockies. I hope you guys all had fun, and I will see you next time. <laughs>